I swear to God, I will punch Ed right in the nose. If I could. I, I wave my bow <laughs> at you, Ed. This is what I think of you and your prices. people welcome back to another uh day of mog month of gaming hosted by ball rocket gaming uh today we're actually doing uh blocks versus zombies and for the moment here we've got uh, ruark 88 and adf hoxic uh ruark 88 is a member of the ball rocket gaming server for modded minecraft he's also a member of project singularity they are a all vanilla uh SMP environment, a uh, bunch of former uh, Cranky Crafters come together. Rurik also does a lot of other uh, LP play and other games. Uh, so if you have a chance, definitely go over and check out his channel. Toxic uh, has joined us, uh, it's been, what, six months, give or take? I can't remember now. Uh, January is when I first started talking to you, and then shortly after that was when I... So or to play, I think. More than that, it's almost a year now. So Toxic uh, joined us on yeah. the uh, Ball Rocket Gaming server a while back. Do SM, uh, SM, SMP modded Minecraft. He also does a couple of different uh, LP worlds. Um, and he also has a few other random games he's played, including uh, 140, which I definitely recommend checking out. So, um, 140 is really fun. 140 is really fun. It's, it's it's just great to even listen to. And I definitely recommend if you want to have some real fun with it, uh, Put him on uh, X2 speed. <laughs> he looks pro and he sounds like he's absolutely ecstatic about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mog Event. This is uh, our second day of uh, Month of Gaming. We're doing uh, gaming all through the month of November. This is a part of uh, the new media meet and greet that Ball Rocket Gaming put together. Uh, Ball Rocket Gaming itself is a uh, gaming collective, although we are majority... Uh, um, Minecrafters, we do have other games we'd like to play. We've done some uh, uh, Gary's Mod with uh, Ruark. Even Tox has done some, I believe. Um, yep. We have we have other uh, other things we'd like to do. Um, but like I said, the majority of what we do right now just happens to be uh, Minecraft. Um, although we are, you know, primary focus is just to basically be a fun server and have a good time and and whatnot. Um, we also try to promote and pull extra effort into uh, uh, basically helping people out who are in the new media world. Wow, already? <laughs> oh, man, we are just awesome. Um, so we have a lot of people like Rourke and Tox and myself. We also have Lysiant, uh, Snow Wolf, um, Big Damn Artist, uh, Yankee Vader. Uh, who all do uh, videos on YouTube and do Twitch streaming. And uh, we try to do what we can to try to help out and promote things. So Mog Event is an opportunity for us to get to uh, try and network and meet other new people who are in the, the realm of new media. And this includes everybody from people who make videos to uh, people who uh, do music, channel art, mod packs, map uh, making, etc. Um, a lot of different kind of stuff in the, in the new media realm. So we want to get people to come together and talk a lot uh, and just try to, you know, meet and greet, meet new people. We encourage anybody who wants to join us to uh, head on over to ballrocketgaming.com slash forums and you will see the MOG uh, section. You can look in there for all the details for jumping on with us. Um, please uh, feel free to uh, hop on and stay high. We do have a TeamSpeak channel. We prefer that you actually jump on to the TeamSpeak channel so we can actually chat at you and say howdy. Um, so that's going to be what we're doing for a bit here. And uh, who knows, I actually might get lucky and actually last more than five minutes. <laughs> we'll see uh, about that. Yeah, like I said, uh, in, in testing for this, we've done a bit of uh, done a bit of testing with a few people. And uh, even with three people, it is it is bugger all hard. <laughs> it, it, it really does take a bit of... Uh, yeah, I shot that arrow. Why did it not shoot? <laughs> a bit of work to uh, actually get the... Uh, uh, get the, 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 the coordination down for adding the oh barriers and, and whatnot. <laughs> so, so hey, Tox. Anything yeah. newsworthy in your channel? 
No. <laughs> well, no. I got Gmod coming up. Got Gmod starting up? You can do a little bit of that? Yeah. Are you going to be doing more uh, Gmod, got... or was it a one, one-time deal? Probably. If this guy, is, if this guy uh, treats me as more than a replacement to you, then yes. Oh, I see how it is. I'm just not Canadian enough for him, I guess. I don't know. I'm not awesome enough. What? Although I, no, I, I, I said I, that I was a replacement to you. Yeah, that's why he doesn't like me anymore, because I'm not Canadian enough. You watch our episode of Murder, right at the beginning, he, he basically says that I'm only there because you and Hammy couldn't make it. <laughs> that's love right there. That is love oh, right yeah. there. My goodness. Now, I've, I've honestly considered uh, moving to Canada some days. I think you guys got your stuff figured out a lot better than we do. <laughs> Baby, baby, baby. Got him. Got him. Another baby. Back there. Get those two warped. On it. Hey, that's my gold, too. Um, who wants to get the, the big bow, the grizzly? Who's a better shot? It ain't me. It ain't me. Somebody? Somebody? Rourke's it ain't me. Quiet. I haven't heard a, a peep out of Rourke so far. Either his mic ain't on or he just don't care about us. I'm pretty sure he'd notice if his mic ain't on. It's got oh, fuck. obnoxiously flat. <laughs> <laughs> Both got ten fucking points. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the uh, cyan. You got ten fucking points too, man. Let's go and get Great. some of those. Off, baby. Let's get some of those uh, towers moving. Uh, ADF, if you want to go ahead and get. Sorry, warped. Fourth... I just completely destroyed your rating there. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, it happens. Um, fourth. Uh, <laughs> fourth tower Didn't back on either anyways. side. Pick one. Ready. Toxic, nice. buy something! Buy a tower, help what? us out. Stand on top of the pressure plates Which... over here and pick one of the two, you know, fourth uh, towers back and shoot the arrow at the uh, wooden button. There's only three! Hmm? Or are they, am I looking at cannons? Fourth tower back. Not the cannons, the towers. See the little okay. wooden buttons on the, uh, oh god, we're so, we're yeah, so doomed, it. we are so doomed, we are so doomed, bye. Fucking hell. Okay, so before we start a new game here, guys, <laughs> let's do, let's, for the people at home who have actually not seen this game, for anybody, anybody who's actually still out there, uh, Blocks vs. Zombies, obviously, is Us vs. Zombies, it's a takeoff of the Plant vs. Zombies game. Now, we obviously have our ability to shoot arrows at them to try to mitigate the chance of them falling in down here. If they fall down, not just right here, but down below into that lava, game is over. So there's two ways to get stuff. Uh, first way is through points, as you can see here. Points can be used for buying towers, which are these little dispensaries down the side here. You click them by jumping up on top of here when you have enough points and shooting the little red or little uh, wooden buttons down there. You also have the cannons. Cannons are the big guys up front there. You can select them over here. These are 30 points apiece. Once they are purchased, they are live. You can keep using them over and over again as long as the light is on. They do have a cooldown period. Those guys will launch and make a big giant blast and take out a lot of zombies all at once. Bear in mind, the cannons on the right shoot to the left and vice versa. Last but not least, we got the barriers. All the barriers are color-coded right here for you. They bring up the barriers up here, so the zombies have to make a zigzag or a little more work to get around. So, if you use the high badge, if you use the barriers in uh, conjunction with the towers, it really does help out. Now, some tips and tricks here. First things first is, uh, bear in mind that if you put all the barriers up, for example, if you use the shooting towers, that are, like I said, the fourth tower is back. They're basically shooting into the path of the zombies as they curve around that final barrier. It helps knock the zombies back. If you do, say, the sixth one back, it's actually going to launch the zombie forward. It's going to help them get there faster. So <laughs> don't recommend those nearly as much. Um, so you try to use a combination of all those. Zombies do come in many flavors. You have the standard zombie, your little speedy baby zombies. You also have knights and then tanks. And knights are chain-armored uh, and a little harder to shoot. Tanks are nasty. They have got uh, iron armor on. They do. They have knockback resistance, so they cannot be stuttered or stopped in the process of walking towards us. And uh, it's also keep your eyes open if we last long enough. There is, in fact, invisible zombies. All you see is a little pair of leather boots walking along, so keep your eyes open for those. 
Finally, the other side of this is getting gold. Gold you can use over here at good old Crazy Ed's, and Crazy Ed's got all kinds of bows and other things, including uh, potions of different sorts, better bows. We even had the ability to summon summon golems or a uh, Armageddon uh, fishing rod, which kill the zombies in one shot. Uh, you get points by killing zombies. You get gold by getting kill streaks. And talks. I broke it. <sighs> Why talk? So why would you do that? <laughs> I didn't realize those broke so easily. <laughs> so this is called Minecraft. Uh, you might have played it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't use glowstone when I'm playing Minecraft normally. Really? Well, I cannot spell today. Game I've used one. I've used it once. You you've go. used glowstone once. Shame on you. <laughs> You know, I, I honestly, I don't try to use glowstone whenever possible simply because it is such a butt-ugly block. Yeah, it is. I, Screw you. Unless it's in the nether. Nice. I would rather look at nether rack than look at this. I mean, honestly and truly, it's, it's, no. No. Anyways. All right, guys. You ready for the round? I'll take that as a yes. Sure. So keep your eyes up <laughs> yeah. on the scoreboard on the uh, right side. You'll see us gathering points. Points don't always go to the person who got the kill shot, but simply the person who got the most uh, the, tags the in it. The killing shot. And the usually shot my, my instinct has always been to have somebody be the, the, the kill, kill capper. So you have two people uh, each put a point or a shot into zombies and then let, let, let one person kind of focus on doing the final kills. As zombies start to pour in, it's easy to say... Focus on getting a shot in to each zombie and then have somebody that only deals with zombies as it hit that halfway point. That way you can kind of get the point tracked up quickly on one person and get those barriers up as quickly as possible. That is a focus on the left barriers and I'll focus on the right right shooters when I get go there. But when we get to that point agenda. certainly. I try to get the uh, barriers like the the cyan the gray and the white up as quickly as possible because then you can go ahead and hit those towers number four on both sides and that will give us a last line of defense to try to nail things. The other little tip and trick I'll is the zombies. Towers, you do the barriers. Alright. The other thing to keep in mind too is that uh, the zombies do actually track um, villagers that are under us. So you'll see the zombies kind of looking down and zombies that look down are very innate at just rocking right off the edge, this first little lip and staying down in the trough. So if you at least put one shot into them, they'll focus on you, and they're less likely to immediately drop down by you just a little bit of time before some other zombie knocks his butt in. Zion Tower would be good any second now. Eighty's almost got uh, enough. I'll get the other tower on the other side once the cyan towers barriers up. There we go. Oh, we got a speeder coming down. I got him. Oh, be the potato. Get the fucking tower. Oh, I'm killing, get a what? tower. I'll be you, Tox. Okay, last killing. There you go. L4? Yeah. Correct. Oops. Baby. Another baby coming down. That was a bit of lag. Uh -oh, there he oh, goes. Oh, 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 we got uh, a couple in the trough. A couple in the trough. Oh, quite a few of the trough, actually. I did not realize there was another one down there. Okay, somebody's got to clear a trough while the other people focus on the... Oh, he's pushing another one down. Whoo, that was close. That's one of the worst situations right there, is you get the, uh, the little babies pushing the uh, old ones in. Okay, let's go no one's getting these fucking barriers. I'm working on it right now. What are you... I don't know how to play games. How do you do this game again? Get ten points and hit a barrier. White and gray. I'm going. I'm going gray. Okay. Got a couple of knights coming down left side. What the fuck do I do? 
And always shoot the knights. Always shoot the knights right off the back. So they drop in, they're paying the crap to clear out of the uh, trough. Gotta make sure you get at least one shot at them so that they stutter before they go in. Got a whole bunch down in the trough. There's a knight in the trough. Uh huh. One person is focused on the trough. The rest of them need to keep the rest out of there if at all possible. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of gold. Somebody should be getting themselves a uh, grizzle bow. If, you know, whoever wants, I'll dump my gold on them. Oh crap! There goes another. Knight I'm a in bad the shot. So am I. Yeah. I'm... Yep. There we go. <laughs> so before we uh, start okay. out, before we start Warp up again left, here. Toxic rights. Me middle. Before we start uh, up again here. Work, fo work focus on the towers. I'll shoot the cannons. And toxic focus on getting upgrades. I'll shoot my gold at you whenever I get it. Uh, Sound good? Who's the better bower? Because that's the thing we seem to be missing out on here. I'm shooting the shit out of the guys that are looking down. Which is but when perfect. I'm screaming for people to buy shit, nothing ever gets bought. Okay. So, with slight lish, it's involved. <laughs> Um, okay. For bows, the striker bow has punch one, which helps, and that's only ten gold. But if you go up a little bit, um, the grizzly bow is twenty gold, and it's got power two, infinity one, or you know power two, so it's better knockback. Um, depending on how we want to go, because we start getting those those fill ups, we can have one person focus with just one good bow and have them start dealing the bigger damage and knocking things back, or we can just have two people get strikers as soon as we got enough money. That means as soon as we have all of uh, what, six, seven a piece, somebody can split them between the other two, get ten each, and then run with it. Diane Tower, the fourth Shooter's back, and then the gray and the white tower. First That's the usual order I try to go Regard in. Regardless. So who's dedicated to so clearing actually, drops? So we all need to actually buy shit. Who is dedicated I'll, to clearing drops? I'll shoot the drops? towers ASAP. Who's dedicated? I'll shoot the towers ASAP. Rourke. Who's... I will shoot the towers ASAP. Who is Whichever dedicated? Whichever of you gets 10 points first by this. Would one of us shut up? Who is dedicated <laughs> to killing the to being trough? We can have two people focus up the sides. As soon as we get a we'll barrier worry about up, trough once they get in the trough. No, because then we try to figure out who's. We get the two... cyan barrier and the two towers. That's going to be very minimal. And that's fine. They're almost never going to well, get in there. No, that is not true at all. Trust me. By the, almost I said. Nope. Trust me. It's going to be a there, cluster fairy. Start pouring in. So here's how it plays out. Something gets in the trough. Everybody focuses on the trough. Nothing gets done because everybody's focused on the trough. So things just keep dumping in. We need two people to focus on the board and one person to deal with the trough when it happens, if it happens. I give up on coordination. Okay, Semi. so you you, you are we the play all, all. You work on anything that comes down too close and on the trough. Me and Tox will keep focusing on the far game. And the only time we're ever going to look down at the trough and deal with the trough is if you scream like a little girl and say, oh my god, we're all going to die. I'll never say we're all going to die because I'm the one shooting the crap out of these guys. So I'll probably survive before longer than you guys if this were a real zombie apocalypse. I cannot hit a damn thing. Woot, we got through one minute. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so we're supposed to do is cut the recording so that it comes up and does, that's the last little clip you see is 19 minutes. Like, yes, we've lasted for almost 20 minutes! We win! Warp to buy Cyan, I'll buy the towers. Mm-hmm. I think the order should be cyan, then towers, then gray and white, and just whoever cyan, gets. Ta towers will help with just the cyan. That's what I'm saying. Gray and the white Cy will just. Cyan first, just buy then the towers, cyan. Just buy the and cyan. whoever has the points, just go ahead and do it right up. Okay, we're getting a nice little string down the left here. Yeah. me. Look 
Look at me. Look at me, damn you. Ooh, that was a little loud. Oh, he's like a Oh, he's being pushed. Yep. Once the spears start coming down, they start pushing everybody. Cyan. There's somebody right below your warp. In the trough. Uh, trough warp is... Warp by the Cyan? Trough is, uh, Rurik. I am not. I'm the towers. You are the one that focuses on the trough. The whole buying the towers thing is just whoever has the points. The order is Cyan, then towers, then gray and white. So... Rourke has 10 points now. He can go ahead and get the towers if we want to hurry by have them both. And then move on to... Stop commentating from the... Stop commentating from the past. And then start grabbing the other, tower, the other barriers. So the problem is have when I was um, testing with... What do you want uh, me to grab? The gray, gray or, or white. white. Gray or white. Yeah, I'm on it. The problem we had in the past when VSDI and uh, RG were testing was everybody start focusing on the trough. And you end up having all the zombies just start pouring into it because nobody was uh, worked by white. Worked to, by uh, white. Doing preventative. All right, we we'll probably want to do uh, oh, shit. towers three. I'll go one further back. I'll go five. Mm. That will work too. I'm gonna grab a uh, striker. Somebody cover uh, left side. Got a couple. Uh... Got it. Go, go, going, going. Oh crap! Baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is this is it. This is what I needed. Back up. Back off. Back off. There's a baby in the trough. Worked. Help pushed. us on this side. Good oh, lord. Oh, baby got pushed in.